I'm Clinton Griffiths with today's Ag Day Minute. The East Coast is preparing to get hit as Debbie is expected to make a second landfall. So far, there are reports of limited impacts to Florida's citrus areas and sugarcane. The storm also bypassing most of Georgia's crops, such as peanuts and cotton. However, as the storm intensifies again and hits South Carolina, the threats to agriculture include flooding that could impact major row crops in the Carolinas and Virginia, along with North Carolina hog and pig farms. A big mystery in New York State. Officials report a giant African land snail was turned over to them by someone at a park in Brooklyn. They're concerned because if it was living in the wild, the state could be at risk because it's considered an invasive species. The snails can grow up to eight inches long and eat more than 500 plants, along with carrying a parasite that can cause potentially deadly meningitis for humans. And love the smell of fresh pretzels? Well, Auntie Anne's is launching a perfume inspired by its pretzels called Need. It says it's infused with notes of buttery dough, salt, and a hint of sweetness. The pretzel maker says each spritz evokes the experience of passing by an Auntie Anne's store and breathing in the nostalgic aroma at the mall food court. It's available in a one ounce bottle for $25 and a 3.4 ounce bottle for $45. For more Ag News, watch Ag Day weekdays on the station or anytime at agweb.com.